to the Now Milwaukee. It is Walker's Point Foodie Week, and today's TMJ4 is a proud sponsor of this year's event. In tonight's Now Serving, we take a walk down 2nd Street and check out three restaurants with special menus this week for all the foodies. At Black Sheep, Foodie Week is a chance to reintroduce diners to the restaurant. Executive chef Christian Schrader is a veteran of Milwaukee dining, but new to this kitchen, where he's bringing in a new energy and philosophy. Keeping things fun, giving people food that they're not going to get at other restaurants, um, kind of keeping things eclectic and um, keeping things interesting. For Foodie Week, that means dishes like this pork belly. Served with watermelon and beets, it's a bridge from winter to summer. A couple blocks south on 2nd Street is All Purpose, where the menu of eclectic plates is put together by Chef de Cuisine Patrick Murphy. For Foodie Week, that includes a sexy tuna crudo. Dressed with pickled pear, jalapeno, and olive oil, it's a small plate, but they make big ones too. If they want like large plates, they can go for it. If they want to share and do small plates, you know, that book is open too. Our last stop is in the shadow of the clock tower. Braze is the gold standard of seasonal farm to table cooking in Milwaukee, which can be a challenge in early spring. If we plan well in the fall of the previous year, we can store a lot of items. So we have a lot of root crops that we can store throughout the year, and they'll last us all the way until April and May. Chef and owner Dave Swanson channeled that philosophy into dishes like these braised short ribs, served under a foraged spring salad and on top of a wintry lentil doll. It's a dish for a climate that can't make up its mind. I always get dirty looks from the Weather Center when I do food stories. Okay, that's three tastes. For more information on Foodie Week and all the restaurants taking part, we have a link for you at TMJ4.com.